channel. I hope you're all well and having a great day. Today we're going to speak about a bit of Newcastle United news, but before we get to that, could you just do me a massive favour and please consider to subscribe to my channel. It would help me loads. It doesn't cost anything. It's free, completely free. So if you could do me a massive favour, smash that button down below, that would be great. Also give the video a like, that would be fantastic. Get to my channel more recognised on YouTube and you do me a massive favour, so thank you. Let's get the news, people. Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video on the channel, hope you're all well. This weekend, Newcastle play Bournemouth at St James Park. Will go ahead, um, because there was obviously um, the Queen's death only last Thursday. That game's got postponed um, out of mark respect, which is obviously right, the right thing to do. Mark our respects to our long reigning Queen, you know. Um, but yeah, they've come out now, the EFL, and, the, and they've said that um, the games are back on, but there's some ones that are not on, some are postponed because of policing issues. Um, most of the London ones, I think Chelsea Liverpool's off, <coughs> the Manchester United game's off, and also a Brighton one is called off, postponed. Um, but Newcastle one goes ahead, Eddie Howe versus Old Side Bullmouth, which will be interesting for him. Um, I bet he's got a lot of respect still for Bournemouth and it'll be something close to his heart, you know what I mean? Um, to play his old club that he used to manage for a long, long time. He's done so well with them, getting from League to the Premier League. and then, uh, You know, he's done so well with them, absolute quality. Callum Wilson and Fraser, I used to play for him at Bournemouth and now we have them at our club. Um, I remember a few years ago, I played Bournemouth. I think we won to St James Park and I remember I was in the crowd and I was looking down and I saw Eddie Howe in the dugout. I remember Callum Wilson and Fraser on the Bournemouth team attacking and um, I remember him doing this with his hands because like, he could see the crosses coming to Newcastle and the fence was a mess and um, he was getting balls in behind the fence and Callum Wilson was just unbelievable but yeah we won that game, Lascelles got a, a big injury on that game if I'm correct on that um, so yeah we played Bournemouth this weekend, I think Eddie Howe will be looking forward to that um, I believe we'll I believe we can smash Bournemouth, I'm going to say a prediction now, 4-0 because if Liverpool can dominate them 9-0 and we can we pretty much um, manage Liverpool for the full 90 minutes I truly believe that we can get a result against Bournemouth Now, one, one good thing about the game being postponed is that maybe now with the extra day's rest that Bruno Maximin and Callum Wilson might all be back for the Bournemouth game, we'll have to wait and see. I hope they are because it'll be amazing to get our best key players back. Um, we've really missed Bruno in the middle and we've missed St Maximin with the pace and quality, he's a magician with his feet. And we've also missed um, Callum Wilson's amazing clinical finishing. Even though we've got Isaac now, Callum Wilson is still top, top draw and I hope they're all back for the Bournemouth game. I've come across a tweet from Keith Downey there. And apparently UEFA are not letting Man City, Chelsea and Rangers sing the national anthem. You know, God Save Our King. Um, which I don't understand why they've done it for. Obviously football fans want to go to the stadium and pay respect to the, the late Queen. So why would UEFA stop that? It's not a disgusting scandal if I'm honest. Because the Premier League games go ahead of the weekend. They'll be doing the national anthem out of respect for the Queen and the new King. So why do you feel we've been dodgy about it and not letting Rangers, Man City and Chelsea sing it? It's an absolute farce. It's a disgrace. But I'm sure in the coming days and weeks they'll come out and mention it why. Hopefully, I don't understand why they would stop it. Um, I don't see the harm in it. I don't get it and I think it's just so disrespectful for them not letting the fans pay their respects to the royal family. Newcastle United finally signed Loris Carrius, the goalkeeper on a free transfer on a deal with January and I'm here and it could be extended at the end of the season. He goalkeeper to play for Liverpool, he's 29 year old um, and I believe it's a good cover um, for Dubravka because obviously he's with the Man United on loan and he's got things in his contract where we can't get him back till January and um, recall him till January. So we've had to dip into the market, the free transfer market, because that's still allowed. Because Darl got an ankle injury. So we've got Loris Carries in, 29 year old German goalkeeper. Um, he's been on loan for the last two seasons from Liverpool. He's been up in Germany, 
but now Newcastle have snapped them up and he will be back up to nick Portman goal and I think it'll be a very good back up. Um, give this lad a chance, hopefully Eddie Howe can um, get some positivity in him and get him playing good football again and great goalkeeping. Because I remember a couple of years ago we had a stinking Champions League final for Liverpool against Real Madrid and I think he's been judging that ever since. But yeah, I trust in the club. But I think we'll bring him on nicely. I don't think Carrius will get much game time. Um, he'll probably play the odd cup game, the Carabao Cup or something. Um, or if Nick Pope gets an injury, he'll have to jump in. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But um, I think it's sensible business from the club again and getting the goalkeeper in. I heard they wanted Ben Foster, but he turned the club down. Don't know if that's true or not. But then we're winning for Loris Carrius, free agent. Got him in a deal with January. Um, yeah, we'll have to see what happens from yeah. But I think it's good business on the club, like I said there. And I'm looking forward to seeing him in the black and white jersey. Could you just do me a massive favour, please? Um, smash the thumb button. It's free. It'll really help my channel. It means a lot. And it'll help my channel grow. Um, get more recognised on Facebook. And also, if you like what you see, and if you would like to consider the red buttons underneath, smash the subscribe button. You won't be missing out on any content. It'll be your first. Um, it'll mean a lot. It's free also. So please, 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 smash that subscribe button. That'd be great. Um, yeah, people... Enjoy the rest of your day and your evening, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.